about what we've learned since then. It's about women who've had to go out of state. You're exactly right about that. It's about who it falls hardest on, on poor women, on women who already have three kids and two jobs and can't take off work for two days to be away. Absolutely. But think what else we've learned about. It's about 10-year-olds and 12-year-olds who've been raped and who can't get the medical treatment they need. A post-row world is a world in which women who are having miscarriages are told in Texas, sorry, you're not near enough death. Go out to the parking lot and bleed a little longer and then come back in and we'll take another look before we can give you the health care that you need. It's about couples that want to have a family and now have learned that the clinic they've been working with has closed because they are in violation or they worry that they are in violation of local law. It is about medical practices that have changed. Doctors who have said, I can't do OBGYN work anymore because it's a continuum of providing health care for those who need it. It's about doctors who say, I can't honor my Hippocratic oath without a lawyer at my elbow while I try to practice medicine. I give up. I'm just, I'm just moving away and denying access to health care to more and more people who need it. So I want you to think about what this two years has been about, about the people whose lives have been torn apart, about the people who now won't be able to have babies because they were left <clears throat> to get infected, to have to get nearer to death before they could get the abortion services they need. Think about what this has meant, because it's us. This is about our sisters, our daughters, our granddaughters. It's about our cousins. It's about our friends from school. It's about our neighbors. It's about people we know and care about.